Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your girl, Shy Gemini, coming to you with a recap for Your Husband is Cheating on Us. This is actually the last episode, and honestly, I don't see it being any other seasons for it. But yes, this was the finale, and I must say, I was highly annoyed with two people, Tandy and Brianna. They really, really irked my nerves this episode. But anyway... Um, it opens with Deatra being like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this crap. I'm getting ready to go get me a hotel room and stay somewhere else. Because, Tandy, you were wilding. Honestly, I felt like it wasn't your business to be tripping like that. And, like, you were doing the absolute most. So, Leah, you know, is like, oh, she's not scared. I don't know why she's leaving. She's from New York. Like, she's not scared. no. It doesn't have to be a situation where you're scared, but you just don't want to deal with the bullshit. I'm a grown woman. I'm trying to revive my career. I'm not going to stay here and deal with this mess. Like, I totally got why Deatra wanted to leave. And it didn't have to do with her being scared. I really don't feel like that. So, Deatra chucked up the deuces and she was like, I'm gone. So, Tandy was actually happy about it, actually. She said it might be better for them to just be apart, just get this play done and be done with it. So the cast meets to rehearse at the usual spot. And Deatra pulls JD to the side and tells him what happened. She's like, look, Tandy tried to attack me. I'm staying in the hotel for the rest of this. I'm not staying at the house. JD, of course, was like, why didn't you call me, you know, last night? I could have came over and resolved it. But JD, honestly, I don't think you would have been able to do anything at that moment. Tiny was just out of control. She was off the chain. And I would have just wanted to go to the hotel, like, skip all that. So she went to the hotel, and that's pretty much where she stayed for the remainder of their rehearsal and getting ready for this show. So Leah's telling Tony that she feels like she's in the middle and um, she doesn't know what to do. But I'm like, you need to talk to Tanya and tell her, look, you can fight your own battles. And I get it. She's your friend and she doesn't want you to get hurt because Deatra has had some shit with her in the past. I totally get it, but... That was not Tiny's fight, honestly. JD is um, basically setting up for them to perform in front of like a, a mock audience or whatever before the actual production starts. And they're all nervous, like, oh my God, like, what are we going to do? Like, why are we going over these parts? Gene Ryan's not here. Like, this is just crazy. But it actually works for them. Um, I feel like it helped them to get over their jitters and their nerves and they actually did really good all of them tony tony's totally off book now he's really good um and i think he actually brought out the best in all of the characters so i was like y'all needed this honestly y'all did because y'all y'all was off the chain (laughs) they have a dress rehearsal y'all and uh, everybody is trying to get ready because they're going to actually do a full run of the show during their rehearsal. So JD's daughter Brianna is in charge of the wardrobe. And I'm like, she has the nastiest attitude I've ever seen. How can you work with people and you have a nasty attitude? So she's going around making sure everyone has what they need as far as their clothes, everything. And the right amount of outfits or whatever. So, um, while Jean Wan and Leah's on stage rehearsing, Deatra is trying on a jumpsuit. And the jumpsuit, the zipper broke. I don't know if it was because it was too small or just a malfunction, but the zipper broke. So, Brianna is telling Deatra that it's not broken. Like, I'm looking at it, it's not broken. And just with this attitude and I'm like oh she's just so nasty I can't oh she was so nasty the actress telling Leah what's going on with the jumpsuit and showing it to her like look the, isn't the zipper broke she was like she's trying to tell me that it's not broke so she comes up to her and she's like I prefer you not talk about me behind my back don't talk about me and being professional and all that 
And then she has the nerve to say, don't talk about me or you could sit your fat ass in the audience. And I'm like, who's she talking about? I would have been like, who's she talking to? And Leah was even like, with her mouth open, like, I can't believe this little white just said this. Girl, you are not professional. You lack, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but baby, in that moment, I would have slapped the shit out of you, honestly. Like, I would have lost all type of professionalism. I wouldn't even care that she was a younger person, like, I would have had to slap you because you were totally out of line. And that is not how you handle conflict. So what's crazy is she goes to tell JD her side of the story and act like it was all Deatra's fault. But Deatra came to you like, look, the zipper is broke and you took it there. So I just couldn't believe like she was acting like that. So because of this information, JD asked him to come talk and he's giving his old speech. And Deatra was like, well, um, I was just saying, you know, basically your daughter told me I could sit my fat ass down. So I was wondering if you want me to sit my fat ass down. <laughs> like, and he was floored too. JD actually looked like he was embarrassed that his daughter had said that. And you should be, JD. Like, that was totally uncalled for. So... She's sitting there and she was like, "You." she had the nerve to say that she was expecting Deatra to be professional. And I'm like, the same way you were when you call her fat ass? Like, are you for real, little girl? Like, seriously, I just want to smack the crap out of her. Like, really? He needs to get rid of his daughters. They're horrible. They're not professional. They're spoiled, whiny little brats. Get rid of them, JD. Let them do something else because this is obviously something they can't do. So as the time goes on, the cast is reflecting on everything that they went through to get to this moment, to get to the final uh, show. And, you know, everybody's pretty much ready for it to be over. You can tell. So opening night, I thought it was so funny that of all the people, Tandy was the one that was really about to have like a nervous breakdown about the show. And I get what her, some of her concerns were because JD will change something in a second. Like he goes with how his mind goes and if he's not feeling something, he'll change it. So I understand her concerns. And she was also concerned about her wardrobe because she didn't have everything together. And of course, JD's bratty daughters weren't of re any real help. So I totally get her concern. But it was so funny that of all people, Deatra was the one that was just trying to comfort her and reassure her that everything will be okay. You've been killing it so far. You're good. You got it. And De and Tiny was still kind of like standoffish for a while. So I wouldn't have been giving her all of that. <sighs> Deatra, I'm somewhat petty i would have just totally paid her d dust and let her just worry herself like <laughs> i mean i guess you did it for the better of the team because you all want to look good and i know you especially want to look good because you're trying to revive your career so i totally get it but the petty side of me would have been just <sighs> whistling and minding my damn business so jermaine comes and he is going to support the cast, but I must say, Jermaine, are you practicing to, are you the understudy for Little Richard? Your confessional look, <laughs> that hair, I know, like, usually you be cool or whatever, Jermaine, but that hair and just that whole look in your confessional gave me Little Richard tease. I was like, he looks awful. I didn't, I didn't like that hair. I felt like whatever they put on your face, like the the foundation or whatever, it was deathly looking. You were casket sharp, literally. But I'm glad that Jermaine decided not to be petty, and he actually came and supported the cast, even if he has certain feelings towards JD. He supported the cast. While they're going, everybody's going 
doing their things. Everybody's doing a great job. Even Genuine, he's remembering his lines. And of course, when he came out, all of the ladies went crazy like, ah, Genuine, Genuine. And when he came to do his second scene, the mic wasn't on. And I like the way Leah improvised and was like, oh, his mic ain't even on, you know, made a joke out of it. He went back and got his mic turned on and came back on the scene like it, it was perfect the way they did that me I would have froze I, I'm not an actress so I would have froze like oh my god what are we gonna do but that was good Deatra has her moment y'all and she's singing and she is singing for the gods and she was doing good again until she doing a like I hate when she does that <laughs> honestly so Kristen's doing her part and she's doing good and they feel like she could, you know, pretty much go far in this business. So the play is going without a hitch. Um, Jermaine said everything is good except for that damn puppet. And I have to agree, like, <laughs> I would hate seeing that puppet in that play. Um, I felt like it was necess unnecessary. But anyway. So afterwards, Tandy decides to speak with Deatra and basically extend an olive branch to her. And I'm like, it's, it was necessary. It was necessary. I'm glad that they have decided to just nip it in the bud and just be done with the drama. Um, I was proud of Deatra for just saying, you know what, I forgive you and I apologize for my role in whatever caused this breakdown between our relationships so it's over y'all the play went off with a hitch without a hitch and now they're going to take it international so they're going to be going from city to city new york was the success now they're going to go to the next city that's it y'all um it was an interesting show i i enjoyed it it wasn't nothing major but i enjoyed it so that's it guys Thumbs up this video, share, subscribe, and I shall see you guys later for Basketball Wives. All right.